how to check if a number is a power of 2 or not so in this problem we have given an integer and we have to write a function to determine if it is a power of 2 or not for example in the first example the input is 1 and we return true as 2 to the power 0 is 1 in the second example the input is 16 so 2 to the power 4 is 16 so we return true and in the third example the input is 218 so we return false as it is not a power of 2 so this is the problem statement and in this tutorial i am going to discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem let's start with the easiest approach and to understand this approach let's take an example so now suppose given input number is 8 and we have to check whether 8 is a power of 2 or not so how do we check so what we can do is we can divide 8 by 2 and when we divide 8 by 2 it is perfectly divisible by 2 what it means is its remainder is 0 and we get 4 now let's divide 4 again by 2 so it's also perfectly divisible by 2 so we get 2 so 2 is also perfectly divisible by 2 and we get 1 so now the number reduces to 1 it means this number is a power of 2 so we are using this approach so in this approach we will check whether a number is perfectly divisible by 2 if a number is perfectly divisible by 2 then its remainder is 0 and we will repeat this step until n becomes 1 if n becomes 1 then it's a power of 2 but one more condition we have to check so in each step we have to check when we divide a number by 2 and its remainder is not 0 and n is not 1 then n is not a power of 2 for example let's take this number 6 if i divide 6 by 2 it's perfectly divisible by 2 and we get 3 but when i divide 3 by 2 so it's not perfectly divisible by 2 we get remainder 1 and also the value of n is 3 so 6 is not a power of 2 this is the logic behind this approach now let's see the code so the first condition is if number is if given number is less than or equal to 0 then simply return false in that case it is not the power of 2 so i mean we start from 2 uh, 2 to the power 0 which is 1 2 to the power 2 which is 4 so definitely 0 or number which is less than 0 is not a power of 2 so that's why we return false and then we run a while loop so the condition is if number is perfectly divisible by 2 if let's take this number 8 if we divide this number by 2 we get remainder 0 so this is the condition so if we get the remainder 0 by dividing the number by 2 then run this loop and reduce the number for example 8 so it is perfectly divisible and the remainder is 2 then we reduce the number to 4 then again when uh, we divide 4 by 2 we get the remainder 0 so it means this condition is true so we run this loop until this point and then when it reduces to 1 we came out of this loop and we check if the value of n is 1 simply return true else false so let's see this case so uh, the number is 6 so when we divide 6 by 2 we get remainder 0 so this condition is true we reduce the number to 3 now when we divide 3 by 2 we get remainder 1 so this condition is false we came out of this loop and also the value of n is 3 so this condition is also false so we return false it means this number is not a power of 2 so the important point in this code is we run this loop if the number is perfectly divisible by 2 so that's why when it when the number reduces to 1 we came out of this loop and we check if the value of n is equal to equal to 1 it means it is uh, it is a power of 2 and we return true so this is the logic behind this approach and now let's uh, discuss our next approach in which we solve this problem using bit manipulation in this example we are going to solve this problem using bit manipulation and before using 
this approach let's see some pattern so let's consider the binary representation of any number that is power of 2 we will find only one bit is set in their binary representation for example 2 4 8 16 32 so we will only find one bit is set in their binary representation and number which is one less then this number has following binary representation for example when you see a uh, 4 so only one bit is set in case of 3 uh, this binary representation so this is the 8 bit binary representation and 7 uh, the binary representation of 7 is this one and if we do the bitwise end of a number which is a power of 2 and a number which is one less than the number the result will be 0 so if we do the bitwise end so bitwise end gif 1 if both the bits are 1 else it is 0 so the binary representation of 4 and the binary representation of 3 if we do the bitwise end we get 0 similarly if we do the binary uh, bitwise end of 8 and 7 we get 0 similarly uh, binary representation of 15 and 16 we do the bitwise end we get 0 so using this conclusion we have written this code and the first condition you are already familiar with this if the value of n is greater than 0 I mean if the value of n is less than or equal to 0 then definitely it is not a power of 2 so the first condition is the value of n is greater than 0 and this end condition is we we are doing the bitwise end of the number so the given input number and one less than the given input number and if the bitwise end of these two numbers is 0 then it is a power of 2 else it is not the power of 2 so this is the logic behind this approach and in this tutorial i have explained two approaches to solve this problem and if you know any other approach you can let us know through your comment and that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video